Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. The long nails are back. Today's video is so exciting. It is a vlog from my trip to the Philippines, which was the most incredible trip. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this vlog. I just want to quickly say before we get into it, I am half Filipina. My mom is from the Philippines. I've been visiting the Philippines for the longest time. You know, since having this platform, I've really wanted to um, go back and sort of be that person that inspires a lot of people to travel there. I'm not only vlogging this trip just for myself and just for the sake of vlogging, I also really wanted to vlog this trip so that you guys could maybe be inspired to go to the Philippines because it sounds like it's a lot more difficult than it actually is traveling there. So yeah, I really want to be that person to inspire you guys to go. Also, I had the most incredible trip. It was a bit tricky vlogging because the way that my trip was laid out was very sporadic and moving so much and I sort of started in an island, went to see my family, didn't vlog for that part because I want it to be present, went to another island, so many boats, buses, planes, like it was just all over the place. So I'm going to keep coming back and like speaking throughout. I really, really loved it and I think everybody should go. I think it's incredible and I think that it should be on your bucket list for sure. Um, there's many different ways you can do the Philippines, but just wanted to kind of give you a bit of an idea of how you're going to get to Boracay Island, which is the first place that I went to. You want to fly to Manila and then either stay in Manila and stay there for like a day or two and enjoy it there. People have been like, how do I travel to the Philippines? I'm like, just, just get the flight, girl. Just get there, book the hotel, everything sorts itself out, I promise you. You literally don't have to book anything when you get to Boracay because your hotel will be like right in front of the beach, right? Most of the big hotels are. I stayed at this place called Henan Palm Resort. And when you like have breakfast, the beach is right there and you can walk onto the beach and go exploring. It's all like one long strip. It's very different to the other islands, but I found it to be very fun. Like I loved the layout of Boracay. It's so much fun. Anyway, we're going to start the vlog with me in Boracay. Before we get into today's video, I want to say a massive thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. One thing about me, I love a sustainable brand. I love a sustainable brand. So I'm very excited to be introducing this brand here on this channel because I've been really picky with my collabs at the moment and I'm very lucky that I'm in that position, but just extremely picky because I only want to promote something that I love so much. And Ana Luisa is a brand that I love so much. Ana Luisa is a jewelry brand and they have so much on their website. I really wanted to highlight the fact that they are a sustainable brand. Their packaging is sustainable. I'm actually wearing Ana Luisa earrings right now. Um, these are gold hoops and this is like sort of the earring style that I always go for. I never change it. I love hoops. So this size is like perfect for me. I was so excited picking through the website. I'm such a gold jewelry type of girl, but they've got silver, gold, everything on the website. Me personally, I'm a big earrings and rings person. I also really love necklaces, but um, I've been needing more earrings. So it was really nice to collaborate with them and you know be able to look through the website and pick what I want because I have actually been wearing these I haven't just put these on for the video I've been wearing these every day, but I don't know what's in here. So let's quickly open them So when we open her more hoops, but just a little bit bigger I really love the idea of like a slightly bigger hoop I like kind of smaller hoop earrings like I don't I don't wear big hoops at all ever These are so beautiful. I've been really getting into fashion lately. I love this Oh my god, I love that. I love this so much. This would be perfect to lay. Actually, I might actually wear it now. I'm so excited about this collaboration, guys, because I've actually bought from Ana Luisa in the past. So this is very exciting. Um, I love that their jewelry lasts for a very long time. Long-lasting jewelry is just everything to me because I will find a pair of earrings that I like and then I will wear them forever literally like I, I really really love to just buy a good pair of jewelry and just continue wearing it it's my whole personality it's so important to invest into jewelry that genuinely like lasts I believe so yeah I'm really excited about oh that's so cute that's so cute I love it ah 
so excited. The quality feels amazing, especially with these earrings. I'm so excited to be working with Ana Luisa, guys. There's so much on the website. If you guys are interested and you want to buy something, go ahead and check out the website. Everything will be linked down below in my description. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here and for watching today's vlog. And thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the video. <laughs> have just arrived. I didn't know there would be a second bed, <laughs> but I'm not mad at it. Louis can sleep there and I was <laughs> Look at the little bar. But yeah, it's perfect. It's nice and clean. I'm going to try and book a few things once we're settled in. But yeah, I'm so excited. There's a bath. Let me show you the bathroom. I need to buy a few things because they don't have water here. Ready? Hi guys, so I am here in Baraka. I'm so excited. So basically, we flew from Melbourne to Sydney and then Sydney to Manila. Stayed a night in Manila. Oh my god, he's really like gone up there so fast. Isn't that insane? It's like a monkey mom. <laughs> okay, back to the vlog while someone is currently in the tree getting me a coconut. Um, he just came up to me and was like, do you want a coconut? I'm like, yes. Go do your thing. If he wanted to, he would, ladies. <laughs> Everybody sings here in the Philippines, like we all love singing. But anyway, as I was saying, so we flew from Manila to Baraka and actually it was pretty easy. We went with Cebu Pacific and it was really good. Um, and I'm so happy to be here. I already know I'm going to be coming back here. Like. I'm obsessed with it, it's so beautiful. There's three stations, it's like station one, two, and three, and we're staying right in the middle in station two, which is where I recommend that you stay if you come. Right out the front of the hotel, you can come onto this beach, and there's so much to do, you just walk along, there's so many restaurants, things to shop for, it's so nice. I'll show you guys, we'll take you around today. But yeah, basically, you just want something that's clean and you know nice to sleep in, but you don't need anything crazy because you'll spend a lot of your time outside of the hotel. I travel a lot, guys, and as much as I love like Bali, I have to say, this like the beach and everything here is it's unmatched. Like it's so so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it, and I really want people to travel to the Philippines more because it's so underrated. Dinner was 50 bucks, and it was so good. We had pasta, we had cake. <laughs> We had everything. So we're gonna have breakfast. It is 9 a.m. We woke up, is it 9.30? All right. So beautiful. Is that our hotel, Louis? Yep. Hi, good morning. What's your name Alex. again? My Alex. name is Alexander the Great in Baraka. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's your um, Jacob's family trip. Is that yeah. your company? Yes. All right, well, I'm gonna put your company on my YouTube. <laughs> there you go. Guys, look at this view. How about, how about, uh, <laughs> look at the guy in the back. Wow. This looks so good. Also, look at the view. We're back in the hotel room. It's a mess right now. I love traveling and I really wanted to get into travel vlogging and everything, but I just haven't had like a good setup or a good camera or anything, but we have it all on this trip. I love the look of this camera. This camera is doing so well, so I'm just so happy. Like I know this vlog is gonna turn out the way I want it to turn out. And Louis has a drone license and he's so good at flying his drone. So we're gonna get like some drone shots. Anyway, when you get to Barakai, as I showed you guys, there's a strip and all of the hotels like sort of come out onto the strip. So you can go out to the beach from the hotel and there's just people there that have different tours. Anyway, if you wanna say hello to people, you say, Kamustaka, that means, hi, how are you? I can speak a lot of Tagalog actually, so it's been really fun like being able to speak to people here. They're always like so shocked that I can speak. They're like, what? Anyway, so we're going on a tour right now, different islands. I woke up this morning and I know this is first world problems, guys, but like I don't have my concealer or my brow wax. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally was so annoyed with myself because I always wear concealer like that's the thing that's my thing that's the first thing I put on when I put on my makeup so I'm gonna have to try and find some concealer the state of the room right now hello 
What's up, MTV? We are at this island. What's the island called, Louis? Crystal Cove Island. Hello. We're having a little shake. Gonna be my vlog? Say hello. Hi. Hi. Mango shakes. I don't know where our tour guide went. There he is. Thank you, sir. Oh my God, that's so nice. We love mangoes here in the Philippines. Like we'll have them in any form. We had them yesterday. You can have dried mangoes. You can have mango in a smoothie. They just have mangoes everywhere. You're so handsome. Uh, no. Do you have a girlfriend? Um, yeah. So I don't talk to her. Oh, okay. Perfect. Anong pangalan mo? Me, Shady. Shady? Yeah. Really? Shady. Yeah, but my business is selfie stick. <laughs> this guy's like trying this. to sell us. Oh, a okay. selfie stick. If you come to Burakai, you hand up, hand up selfie stick. Yes, if you come to Burakai and you need a selfie stick, find Shady. Yeah. Because he'll be here. Okay, salamat. Thank you. What is Thank your name on YouTube? Luma. L-U-double-L. This is so pretty. These guys are trying to sell me something. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Pavboy. They're trying to sell me a tour, you guys. It's very rocky. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so rocky on the camera. We are doing a little land tour today. Oh, it's so rocky. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Sexy man. What? All right, so it is now five o'clock. The sun is setting. Really nice vibes. It's less hot, which is nice. We did our like land tour today, and that was that was really nice. Oh, traffic. Did you like the land tour, Louis? It was good. We did our land tour today. Cool yes, we saw some really cool. Black, black. Thank you, Salamat. Um, <laughs> yeah, everyone is seeing me vlog and they're like, are you a YouTuber? We're trying to find this um, famous dessert here in the Philippines. It's called Halo Halo. Oh, it's back there. Oh, it's back there. Yeah. This is a property investment we're selling, my friend. Hey, I am Remski for Cebu Gandal Petran and uh, I am an nice. uh, agent broker. But I want to soon, I need to invite to our people here in the island. Burakai. Look at this little guy, he's so cute! Our yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I just Okay, this is tapus my... na, we are going. Oh, yeah. sayang naman. Tapus na. Tapus na. Salamat po. Bye. Still here. Bye. Bye bye. Love you more. <laughs> Love you all. If you want to say, I've already eaten, you can say, Tapus na kamay na ko. That means, I'm done now, I've already ate. Oh, there it is. See? Should we? Or should we eat it out here? There's the hala hala. Do you like it? Yeah. The sunsets here are so beautiful. So many people come out to take pictures of the sunset, just to experience it as well. Okay, so I'm back. I wanna mention, when I was in Boracay, we did island hopping, and it was nowhere near as good as the next island that I go to after Boracay. So I would almost recommend to stay in Boracay for like three days, four max, just kind of be on that strip, you know, go on like a land tour. We went to this beach. We just asked someone to drive us there like via tricycle and we loved that. Everything is very, very affordable. Um, really random, but like I really needed something from the pharmacy and there's a pharmacy called Watson's Pharmacy and they had everything. Easy, they all speak English there and you just kind of walk around and chill and just have that like island lifestyle tanning. I wouldn't recommend to do an island tour in Boracay because I personally did not enjoy it. There are way better islands like Shargao, El Nido, and Palawan to do the island hopping kind of activities at. Keep Boracay as your like tropical chilling place. Loved it though, absolutely loved it. 
All right, so at this point, I finished up my Boracay trip and we flew to Manila. I went to Manila in the middle of my trip because I was meeting up with my family in the Philippines. I've got a massive family in the Philippines. My mom has 11 siblings and everyone has kids. And so there was just so many people to see. Really wanted to be respectful and kind of be present. You know what I mean? So I didn't vlog that, but I went to Batangas, which is like a few hours away from Manila. Went back to Manila. We stayed at the Soler Hotel, which was stunning. I'm gonna insert a little um, tour of the room. Where are you? <laughs> He's behind. Hi. Hi. So on the left, we've got the bed. Really, really pretty. There's also a little makeup mirror situation here, which not many hotels, actually no hotels have this. So that's really nice. It's got lighting as well. Yeah, there's just this little sculpture here. Um, this is the, there's robes for us. That is like the nicest hotel robe I've ever, feel that. It's different. It's like a doodah. It's so nice. And then we've got the bathroom here with, look at this, there's a bath. I'm just so obsessed with all of this. This is so, so beautiful. Okay, so I have changed the lighting so many times and nothing is going to help me because I have this big pimple here. It happens to all of us. We're just gonna ignore it. A few seconds ago, I would have been in Boracay. I don't know if I ended that part of the vlog, but basically after that, we flew back to Manila and then two hours away from Manila, all of my cousins and everything live in Batangas. So we were just spending so much time with family. Um, Louis played basketball with the locals. It was so nice. Like all the local kids are so sweet. We have matching robes. You get the vibes. The room is really nice. This robe is like so boozy, guys. This is so nice. Like, I just, I love this so much. And it's really nice because we had been staying in like Airbnbs that were like 40 bucks a night and just no, like there was aircon, but it was just so hot. Um, so it's just, it's really lovely to be here. But I'm gonna give you guys some tea. And I didn't think that I would talk about this and I might edit this out. Ugh, this is like, I can't believe I'm gonna say this on the internet if I keep this in, but I have been wanting to get my nose done for the longest time, like since I was young. So when we got here to Manila, I had like a consultation and honestly guys, like the clinic was so nice. I'm not gonna put out the clinic or anything because when I actually go through with the procedure, I think I'll vlog that um, just so that people can like have a little bit of insight and everything. I think that would be helpful for anybody that might want to get something done. I thought I would feel really safe and happy doing it in Manila because it's only like a nine hour flight from Australia and all my family is here and I just really love it here like I honestly love it so I thought let me have a little consultation and price wise so much better than Australia let me just say that like about half of the price amazing also I have a deviated septum so I can't really breathe properly especially in winter like it sucks and I'm always blowing my nose so much and it's like so annoying. So I really wanted to get both things done at the same time, but I don't want like a very like, I, I don't want too much done to my nose, honestly. Like I just want like a cute little boop. You know what I mean? So I had my consultation before somebody comments being like, she's gonna be so fake, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I've already had nose filler. I've had chin filler. I've had Botox. I feel like it looks pretty natural and I feel like you can't really tell. But if you don't know this, um, filler is really dangerous. So I pretty much went to this consultation today and was like, I want what my nose looks like with filler, but permanently so that I'm not, you know, doing anything dangerous, if that makes sense. What else? Oh, we went shopping. How could I forget? Let me show you guys what I got. We went to Mall of Asia. Okay, let me quickly, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm speaking so much, oh my God. So if you come to the Philippines, there are so many really nice hotels here in Manila, like this one that we're staying in. <laughs> Okay, I'm hating how I look in the viewfinder. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly show you and then let's do some nighttime skincare, have a shower, clean the room a little bit. So excited to just like do my skincare, put a pimple patch on and just like go to sleep, seriously. Obsessed with the shopping here. So I went to this shop in Mall of Asia called Bershka and oh my God, I love how this looks on me. I am not trying to sound like a pick me bitch, but your girl has a bunda, okay? And I literally find it impossible to find skirts in Australia because everybody there is a size two. Not only does this fit me really well, bitch, it's a skirt. It is a skirt. So if you try and look up my skirt, 
nothing. <laughs> so I got this skirt. I love this so much. I feel like this will go really well with like so many things. Actually, I might show you guys this outfit on. I got this top that you definitely like. You guys are probably like, what do you mean? Why would you get that? Let me try it on and I'll show you, okay? This is very flattering. I feel like this looks really good with the skirt. Look at that. Are you serious? Obsessed. Obsessed. Let me try on this outfit and then I'll show you guys and then let's do some nighttime skincare, okay? Can you actually comment? Can someone tell me if they think this is a horrible outfit? How funny would that be if someone's like, the outfit sucks? No, but genuinely, imagine this with like a really nice pair of black boots. Obviously, I'm so thankful that my job allows me to like travel so much, but moving around a lot, like, I don't know, your skin breaks out, you can get sick when you're overseas and that sucks. Yeah, there's like, you know, traveling, I feel like people make traveling look so good on Instagram and it's my whole life, like all I want to do is travel genuinely. But, you know, like there's points of a trip where like you're just tired. We've been moving around a lot and I am so tired. Actually, one really good thing, two good things today though is like, no, three good things today. We're being positive. One, checking into this hotel and they gave us an upgrade. So that's why we're in this room. And two, I had a broken nail and um, they managed to fix it. And the color looks really good. Like you wouldn't even tell, but it was this nail. And it was such good timing because they have like a public holiday. So all the shops are going to be closed over the next few days. So I was really glad I got to fix that. First world problems. Anyway, that's a really good thing. And the third good thing is I'm going to have the best shower. I actually lost my cleanser in one of the other hotels. I really want to jump on to like Korean skincare and like invest in really nice skincare. I'm just using this other one that I used to use, but I gave it to Louis. This is a really good one too. Would you be the one on mine? Can you imagine I just sing for you guys instead of any music because I'll get copyrighted? <laughs> Back to basics. These are the two things that I'm like, I'm not going to spend a ridiculous amount on because I go through lip balm and moisturizer like so quickly. Whereas like my actual makeup, I buy like all Charlotte Tilbury, so it's so expensive. Hey MTV, this is my crib. <laughs> <laughs> Nighttime routine is done. I can't see a thing. Ooh. Nighttime routine is done. I can't see a thing. <laughs> My hand is wobbling. Look at the little ears. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'll make it before or after. Good night, guys. Love you. Can my widow speak? <laughs> my fucking widow speak is coming out. If you don't know what a widow speak is, it's this. Fuck. <laughs> All jokes aside, I've gone through phases, okay, where I wanted to shave this thing off. If you have a widow speak, this is my message to you. You're not alone. <laughs> and I feel you. Louis has one too. I left my concealer in Melbourne, which is so annoying. So I'm using this concealer that I bought in Barakai. I would rather use this than nothing. And I'm heavily reliant on concealer. I used to have really bad skin in high school. And I was really insecure about like my skin. So I would wear a lot of makeup. But now that I sort of like look after my skin more and I get all these treatments and my skin has cleared up, I feel really confident to like just go out with concealer. Although I have been breaking out like a little bit on this trip just because all the travel and like I don't have good skincare at the moment. As soon as I get back, I'm getting my hair done. I'm getting my skin done. I'm doing everything, all the things because I just feel like every time I travel, my hair goes really dry, my skin gets like clogged up. There's this place in Bali where I get my skin done in Chenggu, and it is literally the best place ever. I wish there was something like that here because they do like extractions and dermaplaning, like they remove all the hair. It's just like, it's amazing. I really love blush, guys. I know this is so vain, but I can't wait to come back and get my nose done. <laughs> the quote was so good, it was like, I think 11K or 10K, which is really good for what I want because 
Like I mentioned earlier, I also literally can't breathe. Like I've got a deviated septum. So I have a lot of issues, especially during winter. So I'm excited to get that done as well. Like if I have a nice nose and I can breathe, that is my dream. That's a two in one. This is the shade Hot Beach. And this is like a Kosas lip tint thing. I like it. Much better than before. <laughs> I still feel kind of ashy. I don't know why. Like, I just feel... I think it's because my hair is dry and I can feel it. But anyway, feeling a lot better now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello. Uh. <laughs> we went from Manila to Palawan. This, this was the highlight of my trip, you guys. Like, I loved Boracay. Boracay was stunning. I've never seen anything like that. You want to do your research and fly there during summer which, what is it now, April, March, April, May, I believe those are good months. Do not fly there in like June, July, August, I think, is that right? There are a lot of typhoons, rainy days, don't do it. I've seen people travel to the Philippines when it's raining and they've had to like turn around and go back. Don't do it. Go there when it's summer because the weather is consistent. Every day was 30 degrees. Just the best time to go there because you get very tan. Um, but yeah, don't go in the rainy season, okay? Anyway, we flew to Palawan. This was the highlight of my trip, you guys. Like, chef's kiss. Very different layout to Boracay because it's not just like a strip where you walk on the beach. Like, there are good restaurants. Actually, this is a restaurant that I loved for dinner. It was so good. If you're staying at a hotel there, you can always ask the lobby to get you a tricycle and then you can go into like the main part of town like the main strip which is not really far from any of the hotels and you can find places to eat and things to do but the main purpose of staying on this island is to go island hopping and there are multiple days of this and so there's different tours i would recommend to go on and i'm going to tell you guys which ones here um but it was just a very different experience to Boracay. like that's the real island stuff that i love was in palawan I met a tricycle driver that was such a sweet guy and he has his own business where he does like tours. So this is his number here. There are a lot of tours. I found that getting a private boat was so much better. It was so worth it. Like I personally would not want to get on like a group tour. If you're traveling alone, maybe then obviously do that. You know what I mean? Or if you want to save money, but I don't think it was very expensive. I think I spent, I think it's like $200. This guy also took me to go to like a market and pick out food and they've got a little barbecue on their boat and they cook everything halfway through the day. But if he doesn't get back to you, there are so many people that do this, okay? So many people ask for a private tour and just so that you know off the top of your head, if it's around $200, that's a good price. Good morning from Karan Palawan. We just got in yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, I was really tired. My camera was doing some weird things, so I didn't really vlog yesterday, but we're starting today. We're going island hopping today, so I'm going to vlog all of that. Yeah, I'm so excited. Louis yawning, we're tired. We stayed out a little late last night. I made some new friends out in town. We went out for dinner. The food was amazing. It was really random. You had to take your shoes off to eat there, but I kind of liked it. And I made some friends, which was great. And then hopefully we're gonna see them tomorrow, so I'll vlog with them if we do. Ready for island hopping, so I'm gonna vlog all of that. We bought a little bit of food because the tour goes for a while, so we're at like these little market things. Imagine I get copyrighted for this music. Hey, do you wanna say hi? This is my mom. Hi. I'm vlogging, I'm just showing that we're so what did we get so far? We have mangoes. Oh, this is the um, this is who's taking us on the tour. You want to say hi? I'm vlogging. Hi. hi. I'm gonna insert his number so you guys can message him on WhatsApp for the tour. Because I did that um, with my driver in Bali, and so many people have reached out to him, and that makes me so happy. So I love that. I love that I can help you guys traveling. Wow, it's a party in here. It's the time. It's so early. Maybe like. Mandarin.
Okay, and go. Woo! Okay, so we have a go Barracuda Lake. Barracuda Lake. Welcome back to the channel. Um, oh, welcome back to Williams Vlog. <laughs> we'll debut ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna throw it at you. It's recording. Good morning! <laughs> so happy! We've done a different tour today because I looked up some different islands on TikTok and I found this island. I'm gonna ask my tour guide about the name. What's the name of this island? Ditai Tayan. Ditai Tayan. Yeah. Okay, that's the name. <laughs> Thank you. This was the boat that we came on. Here with the new Portuguese friends that I met. They're so nice. But yeah, I love it so much. I just thought I would show you guys. If you guys choose to come here, you should definitely stay a few days and do two tours at least because this is so stunning and so worth it. This is like two hours away, but so, so worth it. This is unreal. Can you see me well? Yeah. I hope that, I hope you guys can hear us. But yeah, so this is called a sandbar. Bar? Yeah. Yeah. These are my new Portuguese friends. Mom's doing um what do you, I've never seen that before, Mom. That's the best way to eat a mango though. And this guy's trying to sell us Okay, so we're at the end of the video now. I just wanted to say I hope you guys love this vlog. I've got so much to come on this channel, so if you liked this video, please leave me a comment, leave me a like, let me know what you guys think about the travel vlogs. I'm down to do them more. Any excuse to travel. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and Philippines was so incredible. I really, really want you guys to step out of your comfort zone and travel to places like this, because I promise you, that's why I do these vlogs, like, is to just figure it out and go through all of the mess, the trial and error, just so that I can come back with this vlog and give you guys the perfect itinerary of how to do it. Definitely go to Boracay and Palawan at least. Maybe add Chagao and El Nido as well. It's, it's just such an incredible place. I'm so proud to be from there. Please do not go in the rainy season. You'll hate it. Um, but it's an incredible place. And I think the only downside for me when it comes to the Philippines is that I really love Airbnbs. I get sick of hotels and buffets, like I'm not really a hotel person, but it was still great. I would really not recommend you guys to look for Airbnbs. I would say stick to hotels when you go to the Philippines, but I still had a really, really great time and I loved it so much and I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys very soon.